All right, exciting times. It has been seven, six days. And we're gonna put in the fish to the uh, water garden. So this is, uh, I guess, update number two. It's been uh, seven days since the last video. And this guy, not even out of the pet shop, was named Turbo. So he's gonna be going in this tank. Thanks, Deli. And look at that. Look at this growth. So we plant, planted the, uh, we planted the seeds that night and what you see here, wheatgrass, radish sprouts and snow peas is six days of growth. Crazy. So I'm gonna zoom in really close on there, you can see. Focus. No, it's not gonna get. It's like little water drops on the tops of these, tops of this wheatgrass. So, uh, how do I get that off focus? There we go. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna harvest these as well today. Also put the fish in the tank. So the wheatgrass, it grows twice. So we can chop this and it will grow once more. The radish will need to be cleaned out the stones and these guys aren't good to go yet. So following the instructions it's okay if this one gets replanted today because these two will be running still so these are so they're pretty cool this whole thing's pretty cool to be honest so the, just the growth on this it's instant like the kids love it and they can't wait to see a fish in there now the water it's got this tinge to it uh I'm just saying that's the uh, chlorinator making it that color as well. I have changed, I took the plant out because like last time I had that plant in somewhere, it made the whole tank go a bit yucky. So there's no plant in there at the moment. I've got to get a new one. Uh, but that'll probably be for next time. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab, grab the fish, acclimatize it in the tank and we'll go from there. Maybe while it's acclimatizing, we'll do some harvesting. We'll see what happens next. All right, so we're acclimatizing the fish. Uh, Stella went and got me a, a peg just to hold the bag on the side. So we're gonna leave it there while we muck around with Muck around with these guys and you can just see here see the slime on the on the pipe there. That's why I took the Plastic plant out because it must have something on it. It just does not like It's it's old. It's it's in the bin now So it just sent this weird stuff into the water. So I'm gonna have to clean that pipe as well and this is how I'm dealing with, because this thing fills with water, obviously, and drips out. Um, so this is just a uh, oven tray. So you, you, turn the, you turn the pump off and it drains out as much as it can. You pick this up nice and level, give it a little twist backwards and forwards just to get a little bit more water out. And just putting it on one of these trays just saves, saves a bit of mess. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean, clean this pipe and maybe get some scissors and start hacking away at these guys. Daddy, can I put that's it, just put it on the plate. Oh, that's not good. We've got Steli, Steli cutting this stuff. So we're cutting it just a little bit high. It's meant to grow back. So we'll see, it's all, all new to us, but we'll see how it goes and report back to you. Just in case you guys are doing the same. And we haven't got something to sieve this out, so we'll see how this goes. So this might be just growing for the sake of growing it. But these guys here, it'll definitely go on tonight's pizza. Doing a great job, Steli. Thank you. All right, up to the next one. Teamwork, cutting nice and low. Clean up after Stelly, it's all good. These guys. Yeah. You want to think you want to know? I know, you're not getting those in the picture. Here you go, here you go. Those are the ones. Here you go. Yay. I couldn't find them. You can find those ones. Oh, those thousands. They look nice. Thousands of Nice them. and fresh. Dad, we can use these forever. For pizza. Okay. Very good. Alright, so we're gonna leave these ones grow for a bit more. Probably 
do them in a couple of days. Um, easy enough to replant at night time if you need to harvest them at night. And now we're going to go ahead and clean this guy out for the first time. So I'm going to need to dechlorinate some water to do that. Um, yeah, so one thing I noticed about this was that what, what goes on underneath, which is pretty cool. Stella's going to lift it up for me. Let's keep it over the water. The roots, the roots coming out the bottom. It's fantastic. So that, those roots sit in, in this tray and they take up all the bad stuff from the water to hopefully keep your fish alive. So you can see more roots from the wheat grass in there. We spin around here. And there's some roots going in there. So you can also see a bit of filter wool because I felt that it wasn't pumping water fast enough, but when I turned the pump up, it made a noise. So I decided to put the filter wool there so that I can have it running at full blast now and it just hits the filter wool and it's a bit of a, a bit of a buffer as well. Uh, so you can see that that's the amount of dirt that was kind of in the tank. So I'll let Steli put that down and I'm just dechlorinating some water now. We'll let that sit for a bit. And what I might get Steli to do, can you, Stella, remove the peg and gently tip the bag over and let Turbo out into the water. So tip it over, grab the bottom end, don't squish the fish. That's it. I'm doing it gently. Yep. Is she going to swim out? Yay! Alright, let that drip in there. Mm, she's swimming around. Yay, fishy. Here, here, there we go, fish released. Uh, that's hopefully Godspeed to you, she, young Turbo. She, she you are in an experiment. <laughs> hopefully. Alright, so we removed this one. This is the one we're going to clean. Here's some water I put some of my dechlorinator in. So on the packet it says it pretty much uh, dechlorinates it instant. Yeah, it's an instantly and I hope it's instantly because I changed the water and put it straight in back into the tank. So hopefully all this works. So really I'm just going to dump this in. So this will see the roots there. So really, okay, looking at this, that root structure, there's a nice little clump. Yeah, alright, this is a good way to do it. You can just tease this out so you're looking just to get these rocks out so you get all the rocks back. You might even get yourself back some some fee, some some sprouts if you're really keen on keeping keeping these bits. But yeah, next time we'll we'll just pull them up and make sure we cut them low now that we know. A nice little another little root structure, that's fantastic. Alright, so we'll wash these out and get them back in the pot and whoop, you know. What I'm going to do this time is sprinkle the seeds straight on top and see if this, the result's the same. Because last time we soaked them. So I'll bring it back when I'm doing that. Recording again. All right. Um, all right, we're in. That's it. Um, seeds are planted at the top. Hopefully they'll grow some more. We'll harvest them maybe during the week. And the fish is in. The fish is in. We've got another plant in there that we found and gave a good wash, so hopefully that uh, doesn't muck up the tank. So this guy's uh, turbo is in a house. His home's four times bigger than from the, what was at the pet shop, so hopefully he likes it. And uh, yeah, so far it's been very successful. The kids have loved it. I've liked seeing it. And um, hopefully we will have more success. So this is update number two. We've done almost done the whole lot really we've done a harvest we've cleaned the stones which went well the fish is in there now so really the next uh, next update will be how the fish handles it and if the plants grow even faster with the fish in there so i'm going to thank everyone for watching and hopefully we'll see you in the next video bye